So I've got one note open here. Now the first thing I want to do is add a first page. So here I've got my first page open. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it work. And within work, I want to add further sub pages to capture different areas of my projects. So on the right hand side, I'm going to press add page. And then I'm going to give this a title. I'm going to call it project A. And then in project A, I can add in my actions. So action one, action two, action three. Let's make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see. And then on this top ribbon right here, press to do tag. That will convert it into a nice to-do list. And when you've completed an action, you can simply check it off. And then you can also kind of strike it through or color code it to suggest that it's been complete. But again, that's entirely up to you. Now, what I'm going to do is on the right hand side, where you see project A, right click and then make it a sub page. So what that will do is that will make project A under the category of work. So when I select it, it will open up all my different projects. So again, I'm going to create one more page. Let's say add page and call this project B. And then same again, you can copy and paste your actions from here, or of course, create uh, bespoke ones for project B. And again, right click, make into a sub page, and that's our work section complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another page for my personal actions. So I'm going to call this personal. And then again, create another page. And then let's call this uh, health. So all my actions to do with health, for example, gym, ordering healthy food. Let's make sure we spell that correctly. And then bring my protein, so on and so forth. So again, what I'll do, make this a little bit bigger and then convert it into a to-do list. And then you can do the same again for different areas of your life. So I'm going to create another one. Let's say I'm going to call this finances. So again, I'm going to add my actions for finances. So saving this amount per month, investing into index funds, and so on and so forth. So again, just change the font as per your preference, create a to-do list, and then again, right click and make it into a sub page. So now what you can see on the right hand side, you've got different areas of your life. So you've got work, you've got personal, and again, you can completely customize this based on your personal preferences and needs. Now you might be thinking, so what's the point of these two pages of work and personal given they're completely blank? And again, that's entirely up to you. So you can use these pages to capture your key priorities or your key actions. Or the way I personally use it is I use it as a bit of a summary tab so I can capture my key objectives and my key goals. For example, you can type in your annual goals for work, your quarterly goals broken down by Q1, Q2, etc. Or you can just use it as a bit of a space to kind of journal any ideas or kind of brain up anything you like, because all your key actions will sit under each tab um, as we went through earlier. The key is to make OneNote work for you. There's no right or wrong. So play around with it, have fun, and comment down below for any other ideas. Until next time, subscribe to the channel and keep upskilling yourself.